It is two hours south of Lisbon, where you find Carrevel Farmhouse, nestling in the rocky Portuguese countryside. Part restaurant, part hotel, and it is the passion project of the lawyer and hotelier Pedro Franco Pinto. He completed this project in 2019. And then, of course, within months, disaster. Pandemic lockdowns in Europe and his business ground to a halt only months after it opened. And I was thinking, this is a lifetime project, a project of 30 years. It's not 18 months that will jeopardize uh, the goals. But when we spoke, first of all, you talked about it lasting three or four months. Yes. A lockdown of two months and a recovery period of 18 uh, months, uh, it's a tiny period for uh, the lifetime of the project. So uh, we want to comply with, uh, with, with the principles, keeping the staff. And I, I remember that I, I told you one thing that uh, we want to be uh, integrated in the community, want to be sustainable, want to create a positive impact in the land, uh, in the region. And uh, it's not on the first challenge that we have that we're going to move back uh, to all the values that we believe. Uh, and that was the main strength um, of the decision. How's the business doing now? N now it's uh, going well, um, especially we are starting the, the summer, the ice season uh, in Portugal. Um, so I'm, I'm positive in terms of habitas, I have uh, positive cash flow, so things are going well. You kept your staff on. You paid the wages, it cost you a great deal of money. You told me about it. Yes. Um, did that pay dividends for you? Uh, yes. Um, because um, uh, com com complying with the principles of the project, with the values of the project, uh, gave consistency, uh, gave gave us authenticity uh, and uh, so in terms of branding uh, complying with what we say that we are uh, mm -hmm. is uh, increasing the value of the project. Now Craveal faces the opposite problem. The customers are back and he hasn't got enough staff to serve them as he would wish. Yes, we are still having challenges of uh, hiring uh, staff, mainly in the in the food and beverage uh, area. Uh, because uh, after the pandemic, um, there was a, a huge shortage uh, right. of stuff. Do you think there's been a fundamental shift in people who are working in those industries? They don't want what they had before. Uh, I think they, they start to give much more value to balance between person, personal life and work life. And, uh, well, hospitality is uh, a hard uh, uh, work and uh, you work when uh, the other persons are having fun. So now the challenge is trying to uh, create conditions for the staff to, to have that balance. But about you, your management style, your capacity for, for anxiety and for dealing with crisis, what did you learn about you? Um, I learned to trust myself more um, and to, to be much more secure and that, uh, that the way I was doing things were, was the right way. And uh, so I'm, I learned that uh, what I was saying, if you have the vision uh, and if you fight for it, uh, you, you can do it.